You must be thinking, why did I chose to become a CRNA versus a nurse practitioner? They are both amazing advanced practice nurses, but what's the reason that I chose it? My name is Christine and welcome to a new video. If you want to become a CRNA or grow your CRNA career, start now by subscribing, hitting the bell so you don't miss a thing. So just going to get right into it. I still remember when I was an ICU nurse. I was an ICU nurse at NYU Lingo Medical Center and I was a part of a nurse residency program which I enjoyed. I was able to transition from a graduate prepare nurse to becoming an ICU nurse right out of school, which was amazing. The benefit of working at a teaching hospital such as NYU Langone Medical Center, after six months of working at NYU Langone Medical Center, I had the opportunity to go right back into school to become an advanced practice nurse. So therefore, of course, I worked in the ICU for six months. I applied right away to get accepted into NYU College of Nursing Advanced Practice Program. Initially, when I started my degree in Advanced Practice Nursing, I really didn't know specifically what I wanted to do. At one point, I remember when I graduated nursing school that I wanted to become a psych nurse practitioner. Then I changed over realizing that I love being in a hospital setting. So, of course, I chose Acute Care Nurse Practitioner Program. Especially since I loved critical care medicine, I, I loved the hospital setting. So I thought that program would fit for me. Then the one thing to be honest to you about, when I went back to school to get my advanced practice degree initially, when I chose a acute care nurse practitioner, I never shadowed an advanced practice nurse. You know, I always thought that, yes, you become a nurse, you get your experience, and of course, in my mindset, I always wanted to continually grow. I always wanted to continually get more education to better myself. Not to say that becoming a registered nurse wasn't um, a great decision. It was. I'm very excited and I love what I am. But I always loved going back to school, always getting another degree. I just always wanted to continually grow. But I feel like the choices I made didn't allow me to really know what specific program I wanted to go into. I just went right to school thinking that, you know, okay, become a registered nurse. I go into the ICU and then I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go back to school. Especially since at NYU Langone, they were paying full tuition for me to go to become an advanced practice nurse. So of course I was gonna take advantage of that. While I was at NYU College of Nursing Advanced Practice Nursing Program for acute care nurse practitioner, I, I really enjoyed what I was learning. I enjoyed the school, I enjoyed my professor. I just loved the program. But realizing with time that maybe nurse practitioner was not a fit for me. When I was in the ICU, I still remember a lot of the ICU ah. nurses saying, I wanna become a CRNA, I wanna become a CRNA. But for me, I was like, I really don't know much about a CRNA. I'm just gonna go for acute care nurse practitioner. I know to myself that I wanna become an advanced practice nurse. So towards the end of my program, when I was starting to do clinicals, I realized that it just was not a fit for me. I remember meeting a nurse practitioner on my floor who actually started to transition to having acute care nurse practitioners at NYU when that was a while back. I just didn't feel that was gonna be a fit for me. I always loved to be hands on and be more you know, involved. Not saying that nurse practitioners are not involved, they are involved. They have a lot of autonomy and independence. But still something about critical care medicine as well as pairing well with pain management that always intrigued me as well as anesthesia. So, of course, I shadowed a CRNA, not just once, but multiple times. And I was like, let me see what CRNAs are, what they do, you know, maybe there might be an option for me, maybe I'll just keep my options open. Because I felt like, you know, just naturally, the nurse practitioner was not for me. It just didn't feel like there was something missing for me, just in general. Not that there was anything wrong with it. So then I shadowed a CRNA and I was like, wow. This is awesome, and I loved anesthesia. I actually fell in love with surgery. I fell in love with the variety that CRNAs do. I, I, I loved the, the ability to titrate medications, give certain medications, you know, do vent changes, you know, put a patient to sleep, make them comfortable, maintain them throughout their anesthetic experience, as well as wake them up and transition them home. And I felt it was so great that they were able to meet a patient develop this relationship with them. You know, they have to trust you to be able to, you know, give them anesthesia and as well as have them have a, a very safe, 
smooth anesthetic. Of course, some patients are gonna have rocky anesthetics depending on their comorbidities, um, depending on what's going on in there, currently in their life. So then I realized, you know what, maybe this is be a better fit for me. I still remember that I took a lot of classes that paired well with you know, CRNA school. It means, you gotta remember, as an, it is an advanced practice nursing degree. You need certain classes that are baseline, that, you know, are required for the program outside of the specialty of anesthesia classes that you're gonna be required to take. So it was great that I had some experience, of course, being an advanced practice nursing degree. I felt very comfortable, I kept, I felt like I was up to date. And then so when I applied to a CNA program, of course one of the things I was nervous about is not getting some of my classes to be transferred over. So the reality of it all, not all of your classes are gonna transfer over into a CRNA program. And you have to be willing to be okay with that. For me, it didn't matter because I realized this was my calling. I loved you know, seeing what CRNAs do and I just felt it was a fit for me because now I shadowed an advanced practice nurse. And of course I shadowed a CRNA and I knew that this was for me. So when I got accepted into a CRNA program, some of the classes did transfer while others did not but I was okay with that because I knew that this was my goal and this was my calling and this is what I wanted to do and this was my intention. So yes, some classes definitely transferred, which was amazing. That helped with my first semester load because some of the classes were more rigorous than others. So it definitely helped lighten my first semester load. So it was easy to transition, especially since I had a newborn baby when I started CRNA school. So it definitely helped with that transition. But at the end of the day, it was still a very um, difficult and rigorous program. But I'm not here to scare you. At the end of the day, if you wanna do something bad enough, you're gonna do it and you're gonna sacrifice and you're gonna work hard and you're gonna do everything you can to be successful. If I got accepted and I graduated CRNA school and I am currently an experienced CRNA, you can do it too. And just because it's gonna be a rigorous program, just because it's a very competitive program, you might be that person that speaks to um, a program director. You may be that person that has the skill set, as well as the personality, as well as your application is powerful and it speaks. So just remind yourself that yes, you might not feel that you're you know gonna dominate, but you can dominate and you can be successful. And I did it. And for me. I love being a CRNA, and yes, things transitioned for me, becoming, you know, of course I was gonna become an acute care nurse practitioner, but it just didn't speak for me. But becoming a CRNA, it spoke to me, and I love what I'm doing. I love the day in the life of being a CRNA. I love providing an art of anesthesia that varies from patient to patient. I love constantly learning about anesthesia and critical care medicine. You know, I love the people I work with. I love just all of the, the entire team that I work with, the interdisciplinary team. So just remind yourself that yes, for me, I chose to become a CRNA. But for you, maybe you, you're thinking you wanna become a CRNA because yeah, CRNAs make a lot of money. I mean, yes, that's, in, that's true, but there are other advanced practitioners that make a lot of money. It's not always about money, it's about being happy in the career that you're looking to go into. Because you don't wanna spend time and money and energy into something that's not for you. So that's what I'm saying to you right now. Yes, you may become an advanced practice nurse, but shadow different areas to make sure that yes, CRNA seems like it's gonna be a fit for me, but I'm gonna make sure, if I had to do it over again, I would have shattered multiple areas to make sure that I was making the right decision. Long and behold, I know it's going for another area in advanced practice nursing, but it transitioned into becoming a CRNA. And at the end of the day, no matter my decisions I made, it was the decision that was best for me. So I love being a CRNA and I love what I'm doing and I'll definitely have videos that to give you the day in life of becoming a CRNA, why I love being a CRNA. So definitely click a link above so you can learn all about it. I love what I do and I love and appreciate what I'm doing in life. And I love being on YouTube as well to educate you and to provide knowledge and wisdom as well as, you know, grow with you as a team as, as a family on this YouTube channel. So if you wanna learn more about CRNAs and how to grow your CRNA career, definitely click one of these videos over here and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.